Hello friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel ITBot143. In this tutorial, I will show how to set up Active Directory on Windows Server 2008 in step-by-step -step process. Active Directory Domain Services stores information about users, computers and other devices on the network. Active Directory Domain Services helps administrators securely manage this information and facilitates resource sharing and collaboration between users. Okay, let's come to Active Directory setup process. And here I'm using VirtualBox uh, where my server 2008 is installed. So now just come to Server Manager. Okay, after that just click on roles okay normally Microsoft recommends to use server manager option to install roles before running DC promo okay after opening your roles just click on add roles okay now it is showing the uh, just confirmation no it it will begin your installation Okay, just click on next. Now it is showing the server roles. So here we have to select Active Directory Domain Services. Okay, so for installing this, we need .NET Framework 3.5.1. Uh, but here no need to download this. Just click on Add Required Features. Now it is selected. And after that, just click on next. Now it is showing just review the confirmation. Okay, after that just click on next and now we came, on, came into the installation part. Just we have to select this install. Now it will install Active Directory Roman Services and .NET Framework. Okay, now installation is succeeded. Both Active Directory Domain Services and .NET Framework 3.5.1 features. So after that, just close it. Okay, now close the server manager and please restart your server once. Okay, just restart that. But when you are going to the restart, now it is asking for the reason so it is showing plant or other plant so here uh, so many uh, already mentioned plants are there hardware maintenance hardware installation operating system uh, but i will choose just restart then only uh, okay button will activate okay so here i will skip this until it restarts okay welcome back
uh, just close this now it will open server manager okay here just uh, select on roles and there you select active directory domain services here it is showing one summary uh, you, the server is not yet running as a domain controller so run the active directed domain services installation wizard so we have to activate this this is nothing but dc promo.exe just click on this link now we came into the active directed domain services installation wizard so here just uh, click on next no need to select this just click on next okay it is showing the operating system compatibility uh, just click on next here choose a deployment configuration so we have to uh, create new domain in a new forest so i'm choosing this uh, so because this is the first time installation so i'm selecting this and after that just click on next now it is asking for the domain address Uh, I'm giving my domain address as intranet.com. Okay, after that, uh, you have to give your domain name as like this.com. Okay, and after that, just click on next. Now it will check the forest name is already in use or not. okay now here you just click here now it is showing windows 2000 windows server 2003 windows server 2008 and windows server 2008 or 2 here uh, i'm selecting windows server 2008 uh, but if you are going to add 2000 server domain controller to your forest uh, don't select this windows server 2008 okay but here uh, just I'm um, using Windows Server 2008 Active Directory so I'm selecting this and after that just click on next and it is showing the DNS server additional domain controller option defaultly it will give DNS server so keep uh, default only and after that just click on next now uh, this computer has dynamically assigned IP address okay uh, here if you want to create your static IP uh, you can create here uh, otherwise you can also use DSCP server address but by using static IP a lot of problems uh, it will solve during the installation only okay just click on here come to okay come to uh, network and sharing center just open your local area connection and come to properties and please select TCP IPv4 properties and there use the following IP address okay I'm giving 192.168.0.100 and it will give subject mask as 255, 255, 255 and 0 and after that I'm giving 192.168.0. is default gateway nothing but my servers and also I'm using DNS server too so I will assign same IP address for the DNS server also okay and after that just click on okay and close it close it and please close this also now just click on next
okay here just it is showing uh, delegation for this DNS server cannot be created uh, so do you want to continue for uh, DNS server creation just here click on yes and after that it will show the database folders and log file folders SVS VL folder defaultly uh, it is giving so just no need to do that just click on next now it is asking for your restore mode administrator password okay just uh, type your password but password must be a combination of capitals alphabet small alphabets numbers and special characters okay and again confirm the password Two, three. Okay. Uh, actually, we required a uh, password uh, during the uh, restoring your server from um, backup when it is crashed. Okay. So just click on next, and it is showing the summary of our installation. Okay. Just click on next. Now it is creating Active Directory Domain Services. So this process takes few minutes and after that we have to reboot our uh, server. So if you want you can select this option and after completing this it will restart. Now it is restarting. Okay, after just now my server has restarted. Okay, just now you can find the administrator login page. Uh, now internet is my domain service. Okay, here just type your server password okay enter it okay now active directory domain service has created uh, so you can find that okay now you can find that in uh, come to start there in administrative tools there you will find your active directory users and computers okay just click on that now you can your active directories has created okay and okay friends uh, with this I have completed my active directory setup process uh, I hope 
uh, this tutorial may help you a lot in creating Active Directory controller. If you have any queries, feel free to type in my comment box. And thank you friends for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on like button and share this with your friends. And please visit my channel ITBird143 to watch more latest uploaded videos. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel ITBird143. And once again, thank you and have a nice day.